Hello, my name is Kendall Williams, and before I begin today, I want to thank you all for taking the time out of your days to, you know, allow me to present to you. One of the main reasons why I play video games is because I love the to engage in the story. I love to see the new characters and, you know, the adventures they go out on. But every time I, you know, play a game and see that they have the, you know, same stereotypes, same archetypes, it's kind of disappointing. I was hoping for a unique experience, but I kind of feel like I'm just going to get the same old, same old. When you think of what brings a video game to life, what do you say? Is it the interesting characters, the unique world, or the engaging story? All these things are important, but lately it seems that the video game companies are lacking in variety of these things. Using the same characters, the same world, and the per same personalities, or even leaving out personalities completely. When video games make games that are similar to each other, the um, fans begin to say that they're just the same old game and they don't even want to buy them because they're just going to get the same storyline, the same gameplay, nothing, you know, inspiring or innovative. And the characters are, you know, just carbon cutouts of another character, like I said previously before. The way to fix this is to, you know, invest more time in character and world creation, you know actually take the time to really tell a story instead of just saying, oh, we're just going to take A and put put it together with B. And, you know, we'll just leave C out. C is not important enough, but C is, you know, that uniqueness that, you know, could bring, you could bring to your game. It seems that they prefer the simple and clean route and, you know, instead of the rough, you know, adventurous route that, you know, they could really put into the game that would make it unique from, you know, the previous games they've made before. I find this disappointing because there's so much room for, you know, improvement and opportunity to really bring a new experience to people instead of just some bland game that they, sell, they, um, they, they just pump out year after year after year. Just the world that a game resides in is also very important. You know, it holds the characters together and, you know, is where the story takes place. And a lot of the times, you know, people do, you know, really pump in the time and the initiative to, you know, make a world come to life. But like I said, with the story of recent years, it seems like developers and game producers are just putting a world together with, you know, more of like a, a shell with no like real life to it. Maybe they'll just put like some random characters around, but you can't interact with them and they don't really have any background or feeling to them. During my time at Full Sail University, I have spent years honing my skills and knowledge on how to create these unique characters, these interesting designs, and these unique life-filled worlds. If you hire me, I can help your company achieve that new pillar in the gaming community, that new experience that gamers are craving these days. Once again, I would like to thank you for allowing me the time to speak with you all today. Thank you.